Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, back in Neon Industries, and today I have quite a lot of things to show you, because we've done like, quite a lot of things. Upgrades. We have obviously added the new doors in the HP Nuclear Tech mod, which is pretty nice. I didn't add the new doors to everything, but I did add it to a lot of things. I left that old, I left that whole door open. Look at that. We have our sliding glass doors here. I love these things. We have our QE containment door for our reactor room. Think I'm a bob. <laughs> Think I'm a jig. We also upgraded this room here, the uh, the uh, super super reinforced room. And down here we have a couple new things too. But we're gonna go ahead and show the locations of all of them first. All right, so you know how we used to have just one radar system. Now we have three. Our uh, second radar system is over here. Uh, this is actually our backup one, I think. Let's take a look-see. Yeah, that's our emergency backup radar right here, which is covered by glass because it's the most essential radar system, just in case the other two don't go down. So just to, if this this one goes down and that one goes down, like if they get broken or whatever, that one will still be a powered one. I just had a great idea of like putting a battery in there, yeah, self-charging batteries, so like if it does go offline, then that will keep it online. Like, like if somehow the power generation, which I'll show you guys here in a second, if that were to like run out of power or whatever, the, uh, the self-charging battery would then charge it. We got redundancies here. So over here we have our RT generator room with our Geyer counter. Our hazmat kit with radways, and then our handheld Geiger counter, and we have a, enough americium. We have enough of these for a long time, and not to mention the last 705 years, which is ridiculously long. Also, we have a player decontaminator, so you can actually just like take them, hold it in your inventory, and then put it in there just like that, without dying. Getting out of here is pretty hard, though, so I'm going to have to, like, fix that at some point. Regardless. That's that, though. See, nice redundancies. We have so many redundancies. All right, let's take a... Oops. Let's take a look-see here. That's our backup things, right? We also have another one of our power plant. Remember that power plant we built? Alrighty, so we also, of course, added the new doors to a lot of things here. We have our QE containment doors. Also, we had to make everything down here bigger because the missiles got longer. So the anti-ballistic missiles used to be two blocks shorter. So they used the missile launch pad used to be up here, or like up here, right? But since they gotten taller, I now have to, I had. I know how to freaking do that. I hope they at least get out of the silo before exploding. I didn't quite test that. All right, so over here we have our primary radar, which is the uh, the one that's the original one. We also have our auto launch missiles override. So if we need to launch a missile manually, then this is the thing to press. Very good. And then we have our secondary radar, which is the one that's on the very end of the hangar. The one that's at the very back of the hangar. All this stuff is nice and labeled for us, you know, just to keep things consistent. And there's our missile launch key, frequency 6, which launches the uh, secondary missiles. And then we have our uh, tertiary Missiles, which is like our third, um, missiles, yeah, that makes sense. So we got that, of course, and then we have our initial launch key, frequency 7, which, like I said, launches those missiles. And then, well, we have missiles, but we haven't set up a little launch thing yet from. This is offline right now because the chunk's not loaded. Which kind of sucks, and I don't have a chunk loading mod for it, so that's fun. But it did work before the chunk got unloaded. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and... Sh whoops. 
We're gonna go ahead and go over there now. We have quite a lot of things going on over there, too. A lot of upgrades. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Alright, so... That's why we still have these power pylons and stuff. I think they look pretty cool still. But we added a couple new things to our lovely power plant here. So I'm going to go ahead and go in the front way because I don't want to reveal the other secret real like, already. I said, oh, you can't really see it from here anyway, so like... But it's pretty nice. Alright, so... First thing here, we've actually added lights to the inside of it. Look at that, looks beautiful. Also, those things are... Everything's pretty much the same, except we actually put hazard blocks around the hazardous machinery. Which should, uh... You know, go along with the OSHA guidelines. Or whatever. So everything's actually marked off and, you know, nice and safe now. But we've done another thing. That's right. We actually put missile silos in here. As well. Look at that. Beautiful. That truly is a work of art right there. Alrighty. As I was saying, we actually have missile silos in here now as well in their power station. Which is ridiculous and absurd, I know. Because, like, who would ever think of putting a missile silo in a power station? Because, you know, when it takes off, it's going to destroy the power station. Like, you got to think all the hot gases and stuff, like shrapnel and stuff. But, it, it's, you know, it's really nice and kind of hidden, honestly. Kind of hidden. If you're, like, very far away from it, you, you might not be able to notice it. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the upgrades to the Neon Industries. Um, yeah, I think just, yeah, that's all the upgrades to Neon Industries. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.